look at that new seat. So, <clears throat> fix this up uh, last night after uh, we ended the day. Gonna work on that a little bit, some uh, a little bit more. I'm actually gonna redo this thing. I'm gonna bring it down about an inch or so. That way we can hide the piece that's gonna go up nice and uh, you know nice and flush against the, uh, the top part there. As you can see, Eric is uh, working away here. Got to run a couple of wires, waiting for a delivery from Amazon. Good morning from Colorado Custom Coachworks. Let's check in with Eric and see what's going on in here. What is going on, Mr. Eric? Well, I've been puttering all morning on all the little, little quarter details, getting all that stuff uh, wrapped up and ready to go, and now we'll uh, ready to actually start getting the bed in there, uh, the main framing for the bed. All right, awesome. Making quick work over here. <laughs> well, uh, you're gonna have to excuse the air compressor. There's nothing I can do about it. We are in a shop. I cleaned up the remaining four pieces of redwood, sanded these things down to uh, with a 220, blew them off with the air hose. Now it's time to put some uh, waterproofing uh, treatment on these things and uh, get them up on the roof with uh, the rest of their family members. On the last bus, I secured the latch with, um, I don't know, uh, a surfboard leash actually, the Velcro part. On this bus, I just took off, sawzawed off the uh, the back handle, and I know, going through your head, Jax, how are you going to close this thing now? Well, I'm going to put a deadbolt in here on the other side of this nice thick steel, and that'll keep it closed, and I'll have a key on the outside. Alright, so I've been uh, treating the... Uh, deck boards and man this uh, redwood was a little on the uh, thirsty side it's just uh, drinking up all the, uh, the sealant here this is before this is after and uh, man, it's nice and smooth right now no sooner did I uh, just uh, stop recording uh, than the uh, post office person came and uh, I am definitely I prefer made in the USA tools for obvious reasons they're better but uh, I can't buy Made in the USA bits when they're like 80 bucks each. So this whole kit was like 24 bucks. Comes with a punch. So I'm gonna get cracking on the uh, solar powered charging station. Uh, I think I showed you guys before, it's just a, a USB thing. So uh, the cigarette lighter size. So it's gonna be like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, ten. Maybe in the back here I'll have a shore power. Apparently it's supposed to be on the dri uh, driver's side, but I, it'll just be, I'd rather run a wire down on the outside than cross the back of the bus and go through the water supply side and, you know, electrical and water, it'll mix. By the way, if you guys didn't know, or if you haven't seen a previous video where I kind of explain where I am and what they specialize in, roof raises. These guys are pretty much, I don't want to say the originators, but they have the highest OEM quality fabricating going on in the, uh, the roof raise game. Uh, it's pretty cool. So if you guys get a chance to check out in the background of my videos what's going on with some of these things, you kind of understand the progress. But they're just wrapping this one up. And uh, yeah, I don't know, if you're curious, you can check out their Instagram, Colorado Custom Coachworks. On another note, look at how amazing this redwood is. I just put the uh, final touches on the last four pieces uh, that are going up onto the uh, deck. Um, the videos are a little behind uh, in time. Uh, I think everybody knows that by now. Um, and I remember someone was saying, you know, what's the big deal about decks? Well, you get to hang out up there. <laughs> uh, mine is going to be a multi-use deck along with the, um, you know, it's being able to hang out up there. There's speakers up there, lights. There is going to be something else special about this deck uh, that I haven't revealed yet. So, um, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of cool. What do you guys think about decks? Comment below. All right, continuing on. This is a couple days later. I'm actually enjoying not having to deal with the stress of making a video every single day. I feel like I can uh, relax a little bit. Speaking of relaxing, Eric is out 
uh, with his lovely wife at a hot springs, kind of uh, decompressing, has been uh, <laughs> working every day like he has been here in a little while. So I just want to share with you what we got yesterday. Uh, this is uh, called Bark Pocket Hickory. Hickory is a hardwood and it is also a very affordable hardwood. Uh, I'm thinking about staining it dark. I was playing with uh, three stains yesterday. Here is a floor I previously selected. Now I'm not married to this floor and it does seem a little dark. However, it does seem to match with the gray, but I think the gray is the least favorite stain of mine. I think I like this, uh, uh, what is it, a dark walnut look better, um, which is the bottom part. That's a natural wal walnut, and that is, uh, well, I forget. Uh, again, dark walnut, natural walnut, and then the gray uh, look. I just feel like with these boards, the black may completely overpower some of these beautiful, uh, I think these are called bark pockets, hence the name, um, but I feel like it just completely overpowers those, uh, those parts in the wood, whereas this kind of fills in that, uh, the grit pretty well, and this one doesn't, uh, doesn't make a pop as much, but I, I like this dark, you know, yet brown, slightly browning of the color, and also how the uh, the grain marks pop. As always, I'm open to your opinion, so if you do have an opinion, comment below on the different colors of the stains. Just to FYI, this will be uh, a couple weeks or so back in time. That's just the way I'm, things are running. And uh, today I'm just kind of trying to figure out what the heck to do next. All right, I figured out what I'm gonna do for the rest of this video. I need to cut out some holes there. I think I've mentioned that several times before with uh, these, which I also have shown you several times. Um, so I need to cut out three individual holes. The back side of this, uh, if you can see that, attaches in between the sheet metal and the plug, so it has to be very precise. Now, before I do that, I'm going to finish up the uh, redwood table that Mike made. These uh, pocket screws are, I kind of like them because they're decorative, but I'm going to sink these, sand it, because uh, it's a little dirty, then I'm going to give it a nice uh, treatment with that uh, water repelling uh, uh, sealant. Alright, here is a little update. While uh, Eric's been gone, I put another coat of uh, sealant on this, so I should say almost a primary coat, because it wasn't really sealed the first time around. It was just kind of wiped on with a rag. I mounted a couple of these bad boys just temporarily. Uh, those are going to be the same holes, but I'm going to put bolts through here and fender washers, large flat washers. I have uh, begun to uh, bore out three holes for the uh, solar powered charging station. Now these things are pretty hard to find the center uh, of the hole here. I'm not really sure. I don't think I did the best job trying to find the center here, um, but uh, this is what I got so far. I feel like I should have more lines going across, so yeah, that's what we're working with right now. All right, here's a little mock-up, so uh, it's just kind of loosely fitting in there right now, but as you can see, it goes on the side there. We got three more to go there. Table will hide that when it's in the uh, folding position. And then this will be the solar powered charging station. So that was, uh, I forget if I revealed that or not. I probably did. It wasn't like top secret. Not like that thing. But um, yeah, this is what I was thinking. Just kind of a way, like, if I pull up someplace, especially if I pull up into the tiny house festival, people can charge their phones. You know, everybody wants to charge their phones at some point. Um, just not sure if I'm going to put a regular household outlet over here or not. I don't really need it and it kind of sticks out a little bit too much. All right guys, you saw me use a certain brand of water heater in my last bus, and then um, I know people bought it as a result of me, and I gotta say it wasn't the highest quality one. I don't think this is necessarily the highest quality one, but this is a lot better. This is not sponsored or anything, but I just wanted to share with you guys uh, what I got this time around. I got one with a copper exchange. Uh, apparently copper is the best. 
Um, it is also tankless and ventless, and um, it actually somewhat has a, a cold water drain on here, which is a great feature. It also, being tankless, or I should say being ventless, it has a sensor which will automatically turn it off if um, the uh, carbon monoxide gets too high. Um, I didn't want to cut a hole in the bus, uh, and also this thing is only used for a few seconds at a time. Um, but uh, I could say compared to the other one, uh, the buttons are a bit more firm. Um, we've got some German technology here. I think everybody can unanimously agree that uh, German engineering is uh, some of the best in the world. Um, like I said, this beautiful copper exchange. It's a little bit more because of the parts and um, uh, things like that, but I have confidence that this will be a lot better, a lot safer, and uh, some of those other Camp Lux ones, I, uh, I actually bought it knowing that it can catch on fire. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I Nomadic Movement bought one, it was the same one. I've seen other people uh, buy them because of me, and uh, uh, so I just want to share this with you, spread the word. It's only $50 more, and this one is uh, supposed to be one of the best ones out there, so uh, this is what I'll be using. Now, for the exact model of, of that one, please check out my Amazon store. Link is in the description. Um, I'll try and populate it as I go. I am obviously a little busy and preoccupied here, but I'm going to try and list all the stuff that I have. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to check it out um, by the stuff I, I recommend. And uh, anything I don't like, I won't put on there pretty much. Um, so, yeah. So I am in the waiting for the paint to dry phase. I added some foam into where I cut out the holes, the first one. I use the uh, <laughs> the cutting tool, cutting wheel, didn't come out so clean. The second one I used two hole saws and then kind of connected the dots so that one came out like almost like a dog bone shape. Um, I'm thinking about putting a 30 amp service actually under the water. At first thought I thought common sense, bad idea, but the more I think about it, um, having all the hookups on the traditional hookup side of things, really in the front is the only, well I should say the front part of the bed area is really the only part to put it. Uh, back here I suppose I could, but then I'd have to run the wire up and then over to the electrical area. Not a huge deal, so I actually might do that, um, but I uh, think I'm going to have the water tank go all the way back here and have space on the front, so in that case it might be better up there. See, I just convinced myself. <laughs> so I think, uh, I think that pretty much wraps up uh, these uh little jobs. Um, I'm trying to organize them better and not have them so fragmented so for those people who are looking for videos like this and it's a little bit easier to watch. It's not like here's what I'm having for lunch and now I'm off to Home Depot for the, actually I don't go to Home Depot, uh, you know, I'm off to Lowe's for the hundredth time kind of thing. So um, let me know what you guys think about that. I think I might do this a similar thing when I'm on the road instead of a just everyday diary kind of thing. Um, just kind of focus more on places, people, activities, events, things like that. Uh, I kind of learned that daily isn't for me, so maybe every, every other day uh, that's been going well um, and uh, creates a nice balance and I'm not so crazy. I want to get my website going, maybe think of uh, other ways where I can make money on the road or uh, create something, a book, you know, something like that. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'm very much looking forward to getting on the road. So. Hopefully 10 more videos and then I'll be on the road.